Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, the founder and owner of Tech Reviews and Help. And today I am going to do a short review on an Android application for rooted Android devices and non-rooted servers anti-theft. Servers anti-theft is mostly for rooted devices to get the maximum use out of this. The actual application itself is for free, but the um, application does require to get full use out of it, it is uh, three pounds. Um, I forgot what that is in American dollars, but it's not that much. The developers are very nice, and but there's many uh, applications out there that can convert to whatever your currency is. The next part of this video is going to be showing you the actual application on my phone. Now this application. It's on my phone, and it's, it has two different type of applications for this. You got the clientele service application, which is shown right here. The clientele allows you to go into anyone's Android phone. You can download this, put in your phone number, put in your server's password, and you can send a command, which will execute on your phone with your actual server stuff. But the actual Cerberus application was right there. For those of you who didn't see it, right there. And the username and password. And this is what Cerberus looks like after you log in. Uh, you got a big setup of um, telling it what to do, version at the bottom, so on. Keep in mind, uh, versions could be could um, be different. Uh, obviously, features could be added in. Uh, you can set the phone to have the ability to wipe either the full phone or SD card. You can have it where it changes the screen color um, on a picture being taken. So, for example, with this phone having a front-face camera, if someone tries to enter in a password and they get it wrong and a thing takes a picture, it'll make a flash of color saying that they, their picture's taken or nothing can happen and the, uh, they won't know any different. And you can see it where uh, take a picture that the user put in a wrong pin or whatever it may be. How many attempts would you allow them? The uh, alarm to be triggered, uh, message to be dismissed. Um, you can even check the configurations on your SIM card. And uh, SIM card is live on cell phones, so keep that in mind. If your SIM card does change, it's very important to know, and this will tell you if it changes. The uh, it will give you the history location history, the uh, screenshot format, and so on. But the, uh, for just about all these features, you would need to have a rooted phone. The only features that you can run without a rooted phone is possibly the wipe SD card. I'm not 100% sure about that. But the alarm, the message, and I think history. The everything else you need a actual uh, rooted phone, and to give you an example, click the SIM configuration. You can see all that, and you can see where it asks for permission and they granted. Now, um, as I said, you do need to have a license to run this. The license is about three pounds, um, so keep that in mind. And, and overall, it's not that much a lifetime license, one-time fee. So as you can see, the uh, application is very easy to use, very simple, and I'll have a link to it on the video. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment, or you can come to my site, techreviewsandhelp.com, contact us, and on the near the bottom of the page you'll see my email craigbennettii at techreviewsandhelp.com if you have
have any suggestions for our next video or what it may be, feel free to contact me and I'll look into it.